Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to set up fiat to crypto invoicing with Basenote. In this case, I already logged into Basenote using my MetaMask. You can log in using your MetaMask account or using your Google sign in. Um, and you can see, since I logged in with MetaMask, my wallet is already connected here and I can see some information like my latest transactions and my holdings and so on. But today we want to set up fiat to crypto invoicing and that's why we need to click on this button here, set up fiat to crypto invoicing. So click on this tile and you will be redirected to the KYC page. Um, currently fiat to crypto invoicing is only available for payments in Euro and to Polygon wallets. So we support USDC or USDT both on Polygon only. And um, that's why you need to set up uh, or you need to connect a Polygon wallet. So if you haven't already used a Polygon wallet address for sign-in, you will need to have um, yeah, to set up a Polygon wallet here to connect it to Basenode. Uh, just click on this button and um, you can give this wallet a name um, and then you paste the Polygon address right here and you select the network, which is in this case the Polygon network and you click on add. This will be the wallet where you receive all the fiat to crypto payments from your invoices. I will not go through the whole KYC process in this tutorial because it's pretty straightforward. So you just enter your information here, you click on the create button and then you follow the instructions on the screen. The whole process should only take about five minutes and yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm not going to show it here. Let's switch to an account where KYC has already been set up. After you went through the KYC, your dashboard should look something like this and you can tell that KYC has already been set up by this missing setup KYC tile here. So this tile is gone and now I can create my fiat to crypto invoice. I do this by clicking on the button new invoice. Then this invoice creation screen opens up and I can of course give this invoice a name. Uh, or maybe an invoice number that you can enter here. You can say, uh, you can add a client. So either you select a client that you already created in the Basenode app, or you can just add a new client by clicking here and then entering all the information. So in this case, these are my own information. So um, yeah, um, you can add a wallet for your client, but you don't really have to if you're using fiat to crypto invoicing. So um, yeah, you can, al you can also click just on this little trash can icon here so you don't have to enter wallet information for your client. Um, yeah, so let's uh, select a client that I already created here. So this is whoever is paying you, whoever is sending you money. And on the right side, you can enter your own information yeah, about your business, your name and so on. Um, yeah, in this case, it's the same <laughs> because it's just an example. And then the next uh, step is to click on this checkbox here to activate the fiat to crypto invoicing. Yeah, and you can see already the wallet and the currencies have changed. I can only select euros here from the, drop, uh, from the drop down menu and I can only select my fiat to crypto wallet here that I previously um, added in the KYC screen. Then I can select if I want to receive USDC or USDT on my Polygon wallet. In this case, we can choose USDC I can yeah, then add uh, whatever I did. Maybe I did some design service. Uh, maybe I worked 40 hours for 20 euros per hour. Uh, you can give a discount if you like, um, but uh, yeah, in this case, I will not give a discount. And the tax in Germany is 19%. Uh, you can enter whatever tax rate is applicable in your country. You can add more services or more items if you like. And you can already see that we are taking the current market price. So 952 euros would equate to 1005 USDC at current time. But uh, we will take the time, uh, we will take the market price at the time of payment. So this is just a preview. It doesn't really matter what is written here. Uh, we will take the market price at the time of payment. So yeah. You can write a little message to your client, to your customer. You can attach files. So maybe you've been using Clockify or something and you can click here and attach a PDF report or whatever you like. And um, of course you have to select when this invoice is issued. So in my case, it would be today, the 9th of October. And maybe I want to get paid the latest in one week. You can either just save the draft and come back later. 
You can download just the invoice PDF um, in case you want to send it uh, yeah, over your own email address or you just want to store it somewhere. Or you can click on send here on the send button and then it will be sent to whatever email address you entered here in this client field. Um, so in my case, I will just click on send and the invoice is sent through our email server to your client. And you can see it here if you are on the document screen and you selected invoice, you can see I already created two test invoices here. And um, yeah, I can come back and I can t uh, also tell if they have been paid or not um, by looking at this indicator. So now let's look at the invoice really quickly. Uh, the PDF file looks like this. I just opened it. This is what you can send to your client and it contains a QR code and a little payment link down here. So your client clicks on this payment link, which opens up this payment screen where your client can once again verify what he or she should pay for and then click on pay invoice. Now we take the current market uh, value of uh, USDC um, and um, yeah, your client just clicks on pay bank account and you will receive USDC to your Polygon wallet. So yeah, this is the whole process. If you have any questions or so, uh, just let me know. Uh, you can always reach out to a base node via our website. Uh, we have a chatbot uh, which is connected uh, to um, yeah, support. And um, yeah, thank you for listening and have a good one.